Hark! Can you feel it? The birds are singing. The leaves are waking from their winter slumber. It is finally temperate enough to be outside. So you know what that means. Halloween! Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> Hello! While I am aware that we are smack dab in the middle of springtime, I thought we could do something a little cozy and crunchy and pumpkin-y today. I almost feel justified because while I was in this sort of Halloween-y, autumn-y mood, I felt like maybe there was a reason that was happening, and so I asked my compliant house robot. When is halfway to Halloween? Some people celebrate April 30th, others on May 1st. While that was not even on purpose, happy halfway to Halloween. <laughs> I felt like making another tiny little creature for myself. And this time my inspiration was sparked by a childhood favorite and also a source of childhood nightmares, Return to Oz. I was guesting at a convention this weekend and they had the most amazing life-size TikTok. Oh dear, my action has run down. It was an emotional experience. Turning to Nick and realizing that he's never seen the movie, the first thing I did that night was force him to watch it. I might as well have pulled a clockwork orange and just like clamped his eyes open. I feel like this movie explains so much of me as a person. Appreciation of 1800s farmhouse aesthetic, my obsession with mirrors, big swooshy dresses that make dramatic sound effects when you walk down a hallway, casual, Casual Halloween aesthetic, love for abandoned places, knickknacks, drag queens. You didn't come back, please. The list goes on and on. That whole spiel aside, what I wanted to do today is make a little Jack Pumpkinhead doll or figurine, or I, I don't really know what you would call it. Now, because I'm me, I'm giving myself a day to do this. And I'm gonna try to use just stuff that I have and not actually purchase anything new for this because I do have a lot of stuff lying around from my other creature projects. <laughs> my friends, I've got a little printout of the man with mommy issues in question. May I call you mom, even if it isn't so? I am gonna try to make him about yay big, which I think this printout will help me because a lot of times I struggle with proportions, <laughs> hopefully. So yes, I, as far as supplies, some armature wire. This is a little bit thick. thick. Shouldn't have to put all too much clay on this because he is kind of gangly and kind of skinny, much like the men that I pursued in high school. <laughs> A bunch of polymer clay. I'm discovering I really like working with polymer clay because you don't have to wait 24 hours for it to dry or set or cure. Throw it in the oven and then it can be done. And you know, then you paint it. Bye George! We're gonna try. As far as the clothes, uh, why is that word so hard to say? Clothes. Clothes. Probably just going to raid my stash. I do not have anything pink and I do not have anything purple. We'll probably be doing a lot of fabric painting for this. So, this may be a little bit ambitious, as always with my one day makes. I feel like I'm prepared. Caffeine, supplies, and a will to kick some ass. Before we dive headfirst into this, coincidentally, like Jack does, off of the Gump Abomination, this video is sponsored by one of my longtime most favorite brands to work with. So to talk a little bit about that, here is Sponsor Rachel. Hello. Do you love a good whodunit? This video is sponsored by June's Journey, which as I said, is one of my all time favorite brands to work with and something that I wholeheartedly recommend and play all the time. June's Journey is a free to play mobile game. The story follows June Parker, who is a detective and her sister mysteriously is murdered. It is up to you following the storyline, these locations that bring you all around the world to unearth what happened to her sister. The point of the main gameplay is they show you a beautiful illustration. Seriously, all of the artwork in this game is and then you follow the prompts down below to find the images in the pictures. This starts off easy and as you progress it gets harder and harder and there's more and more items and it starts to look like any given room in my house. It has a variety of different gameplay, building your own little estate with a bunch of different buildings and plants and decorations. I love to cozy up with a blanket and some coffee and just play this game. Also not to brag but I've gotten pretty that is June's journey. If you want to check it out, you can download for free using the link in my description. Thank you so much June's journey for sponsoring this video and happy sleuthing. Now without further ado, let's get back to making my own little pumpkin head boy. Let's 
transfer can do it. I'm overwhelmed. It's all right, it's fine, everything's fine. First thing we wanna do is make his skeleton. A little head, and you're done. Make a foot, a hip, another foot. That's not even. Sure. Wow. Where to start? Hmm. Extremities, his legs. I'm gonna do up to his knees because those poke out a little bit. The nice thing about polymer clay is that it doesn't dry out. So I can be irresponsible and leave packages half open for months. I reap no consequences, which is honestly my most favorite kind of lifestyle. Not being punished for my chaotic and lazy tendencies. These will be his little boots. Let's uh, sculpt some details, shall we? Look, okay, I would rather not discuss how big and chunky these quote unquote boots are. I refuse to take responsibility, so instead I will blame it on being a Bratz doll child. All right, well, I don't wanna talk about his feet, okay? My Jack is a sneakerhead. I'm going to do his arms and his hands. I think that's all I have to do unless his shoulders stick out. Mm, and yes. Ooh, his hands are gonna be tricky. I said previously that I will not rest until I have just like a shelf full of all of my creations and I heartily stand by that. I just wanna fill up my own little creature shop. I may not have a lot of maternal instincts, but when it comes to tiny little creatures made out of wire and clay and foam, call me Mother Goose, baby. Hands are really hard to do. Ask any robot. Mmm, ooh, like salad fingers. Rusty spoons. That's for all y'all millennials. Oh, gross. Yikes, this is looking like Edward Scissorhands. Edward Timberhands. Like salamander. God, that's so scary. So small. Ooh, that is <laughs> gross. So gentle. Let's add some details on here and do the other hand. Let's do the head. Like a general pumpkin shape. I might actually need more. I shall return. I head to England this weekend for over a week. So basically it's me and just a bunch of other friends. So that means no Nick or no Frodo. And as excited as I am, I have never been away from Nick that long. Everything will be fine. Just gotta stop being a big old baby. All right, does that look like a pumpkin? Like a basketball. I'm stressing a little bit about that too. I have a lot. I need to finish before we take that trip. <laughs> I don't know, this week I just needed something that was gonna calm my nerves a little. And so here we are, making a tiny little child for myself, as you do. <laughs> also, in Return to Oz, forgot how good the music is. In the future, if I ever say, oh man, I've got that TikTok song stuck in my head. This is specifically what I mean. So now that I have that, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife, cut out both the top, mark out, and cut out his face. happened to be burning all our extra leaves, so I figured it was a great time for some meme potential. Okay, back to it. 
Surprisingly on theme, it was time to throw him in the oven. Okay, so now that my son is in the oven, which surprisingly is not the weirdest thing I've ever said, let's talk clothes. Jack has a pink polka dot shirt, a red vest, patched pants, little boot covers that are also very brightly colored, suspenders, a scarf. I really don't think I have fabric colors to match this. I do have red, so that will be for his vest. Ooh, and a red velvet nonetheless. This may be a backdrop, but I don't think future me will mind if I just snip off a little. Just a teeny little morsel. To make it easier on myself, I'm just gonna take this white bed sheet, scraps, pile. <laughs> I don't like to get rid of stuff. On projects like this, I feel very validated. And then the little suspenders that I think I'll just make out of foam. All right. Right, so this entire process, I was making up as I went along with my little knowledge of how pattern pieces work. I just was completely cow pooping my way through this entire process. And saying that it was hot garbage is totally warranted because I did use hot glue instead of sewing it. <laughs> I also did stuff him a little so that he would be a little bit more filled out. Let's paint that body. Really hoping that I can make this look a little less atrocious than it currently does. This is what we've got so far. It sure is. It must be related to Buzz's girlfriend because Woof. I'm hoping with some razzle dazzle, and by razzle dazzle I mean slapping on some acrylic paint, that maybe we can fix this. <laughs> some sort of zombie skater boy. <laughs> Making miniature clothes is not my strong suit. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm always so surprised when my one day makes are absolute garbage, like 70% of the entire process. Right now, I'm currently working on a project that requires a lot of precision and perfection. So it's kind of nice just to f around and find out with this project. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I'll do pig. Right now, he looks like he just took daddy's yacht to Martha's Vineyard. Because I'm genuinely curious, I would love to know your childhood movies that you maybe watched as an adult and realized just how terrifying they were and yet they pretty much shaped who you are as a person. <laughs> I feel like Geppetto. How much longer till he doesn't look like a trust fund baby? Trust the process. Even if the process has given you a multitude of reasons why you shouldn't. To make the suspenders, I just cut really thin strips of craft foam, cut even thinner strips, made the little button pieces, hot glued them on, and then simply just painted. I found some scrap green fabric and I just painted some white stripes on it for the scarf. Then it finally came time to paint his head, which was pretty simple because in the reference photos he really doesn't have that much tonality going on. Was really trying not to get ahead of myself. You could say at this point in the process he was looking like a head ringer. Truly drop head gorgeous. In fact, I was- Several bad puns later. So after adding a few more teeny tiny details, he is ready. Wouldst thou like to see him? Teeny tiny little Jack. He's so cute. <laughs> hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Overall, I, I'm so happy with it for it being just a, on a whim sort of project and a one day make 
I think this is totally adequate. I, it's so cute and I'm just gonna put it on my shelf. Something I did sort of talk about earlier, foreshadow a little bit. His proportions are a bit weird. So if you look, his legs are a little bit too short. His legs probably should have come down maybe an inch or so more. I just, I don't know. I think he should have been just a little bit taller. You see what I mean? It kind of just like ends short when it probably should have just come out. Just a teensy bit more, but that's okay. I think he's still cute and honestly I did build him so that he can sit on my shelf. It's not a huge deal. You you really can't tell when he's sitting. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of laid back one day make. I just I'm kind of in the middle of a really big project that I have to finish for England. And I'm not freaking out. Are you freaking out? So I just needed something quick one day make because I will be the mother. The urge to make them creeps up more than I'd care to admit. Hopefully you guys like watching me relieve my urges. But yes, if you haven't seen Return to Oz, highly recommend. If you're prone to nightmares, well then maybe don't. Thank you so much June's Journey for sponsoring this video. Once again, you can find all the information and download it for free using the link in my description. That is it. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every other Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. I just had a little heart attack. <laughs> a little bit of drama. Oh! I'm gonna stuff it all in there. Sort of like Regina George. My bra is full of secrets. I love making tiny little creatures. Oh my goodness, thirsty! <laughs>